Hi people, Funky here, welcome back to this channel, in this episode we're playing Super g and this will be a very interesting game, especially ending with this game, and we're driving one of the best looking vehicles in this game, so Stuktri g very, and especially with this uh, Serbian flag, you know, just look at that uh, red and blue. Just amazing shades of red and blue. Okay, so uh, Stuk 3G is really playable tank, you know. Uh, I'm not playing this tank enough just because, uh, believe it or not, but my most played nation is German nation. And I want to change that, you know, to play a little bit other nations. Uh, uh, to give them chance, so I'm avoiding to play uh, German tanks except when uh, I'm doing battle pass, then you know, because I have a limited number of tanks in garage, just uh, I think around uh, two, 200, uh, then I, I need to, I need to. Uh, and, and many of them I never played, you know, and I don't have crew for them, I just bought, bought them, you know. So, then I need to play all tier 4 or tier 5 or, or tier 6, uh, uh, you know, to, to get battle pass. Because you can play just limited number of times in, in one thing. Uh, that is why if you see that your uh, battle pass missions are not progressing <laughs> that means you you play uh, uh, enough times you know you have 70 85 95 100 150 200 250 Battle points already on that thing, so you cannot play. It. I mean, you can play it, but you will not get additional battle points, battle pass points. So, gun is also very handy in this thing, but sometimes you know, sometimes you do draw you like that, and uh, probably my mistake too, because I was playing on edge of my gun traverse. I should move tank more. Usually, that is mistake that uh, noobs, I mean new people, not noobs, but noobies, noobies, noobies. Okay, uh, doing. They will move tank without turret just a little bit, or artillery without turret just a little bit, and then they need to move it more because target is moving, and then they will move it a little bit again and while they aim target will move and then they need to move a little bit more and what you need to do is to move tank like now you know, and then again so I, I was I was changing position again so you need to move tank more you know so you would have time to pre-aim and Aim and shoot sometimes that leading shot, you know. Okay, so that was a free lesson for you. And everything looking just fine in this game. Out of mistakes, out of damage. But then, you know, blind shots from. M10 RBFM radio, and uh, that was, you know, smart move from him because he knew something is here, shooting on all that things. So now I uh, saw Bishop alone, and I tried to help, but uh, okay, I was moving too much, and then missed the shot. And Arty died 
pretty quickly. No, I see he's dead now. Before I can come there, and then I will show my flank to other tanks, and he will shoot me too. So we want to risk, you know. I return back. But we, he was really quick, you know. You saw if he was just a little bit quicker, he would do some damage to me. Uh, but uh, he didn't, you know. And that is Matilda. I don't know, am I still spotted or does he saw three falling? And then, you know, he went behind. Unfortunately. And did our arty do some damage? Of course not. <laughs> only, only when enemy attacking a Lefatecha free copy, and when I have a team Lefatecha free copy, they are crap, you know. If I was that, you know, that arty would already reload, hit, run, and it would be just. Zoom! And a little bit of. And I would be dead. Huh? But. Uh, not in my team, baby. Not in my team. I always have uh, bad players in those special tanks like MX 1357, E25, Lefefefe 3 Cartier. Uh, BZ-176 Burashku and stuff like that Panzer 54 this time was good, you know, but usually they are trapped too So, for example, you know, enemy Panzer 54 would run that M10 after first shot, you know and even if he wouldn't kill him by ramming, he would fire one more time and and then our RBFM radio would be dead TV. But not my Panzer 54, you know. He is just uh, alive and have a lot of kills because he was lucky, you know. He was not terrible, you know. But he was bad. Almost, almost my kill. Uh, so, he, he is alive just because uh, he drives very, very... We can say even OP tank for tier 5. We can say it, you know. Is that true? I don't know, but we can say it. Uh, Today you can say a lot of things and get away with that. So... I feel that Panzer 4554 is OP tier 5 tank. So... Let's see, Ati disappeared. I didn't saw Trace, uh, you know, from where he fired. But I guess he fired from somewhere here and now he moves, you know. And uh, we are going. Ponder 5 4 going up there. I'm going down here. Remember that, remember. We are not spotted and we spotted nothing. Remember that. Watch our position on me. Well, remember that. Why? Well, it is interesting now. It is interesting. You thought, ah, oh, this is just standard game, you know. Not bad damage, 1600. But there is result now. Zoom! So that is useless. Was he detracted with first shot maybe? He didn't have repair. But anyway, not very good RT, I think. 
Well, he actually killed two tanks. Uh, we'll see in the post game that uh, So, now we're thinking bots probably that he went all the way around and he's going either towards his base in circles or maybe he is if we don't fight him and now i think he is somewhere on a zero something line but there he is <laughs> oh <laughs> he didn't he didn't uh, even shot us there didn't even splash us there but now i running away why <laughs> Because I was good guy, and I said take six, take six because you have five. You stole that kill for M10 RBFM radio, and you have five. Take, it. take that six kill. But uh, well, you, you, I could, I could get now. I see that. I could get that. Uh, is it Fadin's medal? You know, I could get that, but uh, I was uh, selfless, no, unselfish, unselfish. A net product uh, that is fish that wasn't sold, you know. Uh, so I said, "Come, take it. Don't be afraid." You know, he's afraid of something like. That. Uh, he feel that uh, Arty waiting for him and uh, has wall hack and the walls. <laughs> so according to that, you can see that he isn't smartest cookie in the jar. But uh, <laughs> I still waiting, you know. I was a little bit impatient now when I watching. Uh, not too much time passed, but uh, while I was allowing him this, uh, you know, looked to me like five minutes at least. I would kill him now even with nudge from this jump. And he going back. <laughs> <laughs> In the end, he could go down like he is doing now. He could go down and uh, and just uh, shoot him from down there, and while Arty would aim, you know, he would get... Wow, that was too complicated. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that was one interesting game. And because you were lovely this last few videos and watched many times, many of you, I, I have a special bonus for you for the end of this video. So let's watch that. There was BT7 in game that I just shot, like you can see down there. And there he is. He was uh, last spotted tank, spotting me a few times, I realized he was in the middle, my team realized it's a bit late and... <laughs> oh, that shot. There he is, I thought, okay, let's risk it. Uh... Okay guys, so in this game there is um, good tanks, you know, there is uh, super good tanks, there is super annoying things and one of them is LTG you know? <laughs> that is that is a thing that uh, that was um, annoying before we had build uh, vehicles in game so sometimes you just want to go there you know and stop him a few times and that is uh, what we are Trying to do now, we are not spotted. Luckily, my bro washer driver had same idea, and let's slap this and <laughs> like the boss. And there was 
heavy tanks in game and they were stationary and I was aiming you know fully and pretty patiently nothing you know dry entire game and then just four tanks left in game and let's see what happened okay there is RP enemy RP just need to change this so we can see outlines boom <laughs> one kill oh there is what is that Matilda <laughs> Matilda down and there is Churchill <laughs> not even fully aimed Doom. three kills in the end you know, I don't know how good was this for you but not killing one tank, not doing uh, one good damage roll, you know, and then just pam pam pam. Okay, guys, so this tank is kind of uh, weird, almost useless, you know, except when top tier. So it is sniper, but kind of isn't, like you see. It is. Uh, fast tank but isn't really it is uh, well armor a tank but isn't really uh, only good thing about this tank is uh, well to use his uh, fat as beep to avenge his friends. So. Oh no! They killed my bro, Wash Dryer. Running speed! <laughs> I almost had him in another map. I, I saw him in my mind playing in Malinovka. So what you think guys, will uh, my master Slobodan Čovek uh, be proud of me? He's a master of professional ramming with tanks. And uh, some say that T-34 was used a lot in World War II to ram German tanks, uh, though that wasn't really true. Uh, sometimes crew would uh, die, you know, and tank would just keep going forward. So Germans uh, thought that they were doing that uh, intentionally, though there was cases when they did that intentionally. So can T-34 really run German tanks? Oh yeah, <laughs> it can. <laughs>